with the traditional method of multiplication. I'm going to do these four problems fairly quickly. I'm going to start with an estimate each time so that I have a sense of about how much I think it should be. So when I estimate 209 times 5, I would estimate it as 200 times 5. 5 times 2 is 10, and then 2 zero. So I'm estimating it's going to be a little more than 1,000. Now I go ahead and do my multiplication. 5 times 9 is 45. So I put my 5 ones and I regroup the 4. 5 times 0 is 0, plus the 4 extra. So I put a 4 here. And then 5 times 2 is 10, 1,045, which is as I expected. Let me look at the problem underneath, 74 times 5. Now to estimate this, I'm going to estimate it as 70 times 5. Remembering that with a single digit number, I'm going to keep it. That's going to be 350 for my estimate. Since I estimated 74 down to 70, I'm expecting this to be a little bit lower than the actual answer. Now let me do the multiplication. 5 times 4 is 20, so I place my 0, regroup the 2. 5 times 7 is 35, plus 2 more is 37. So 370, which is just a little bit more than 350. Now let's take a look at a three-digit times a two-digit number and a two-digit times a two-digit number. The first difference is going to be in the estimate. I'm going to round both of them. So 784 will round to 800, and 36 will round to 40. 8 times 2 is 32, and then I have my three zeros. So I'm expecting the answer to be about 32,000. Now I rounded both of those up, so I think 32,000 is going to be too high. Now let's look at the multiplication itself. I start by ignoring the 3. I'm just going to do 6 times 4 is 24. 6 times 8 is 48, plus 2 more would be 50. And then 6 times 7 is 42, plus 5 is 47. Now the next thing I can do is I can uncover my 3, because I do need to multiply my, my 3, but it's really 30. So what I have to remember for myself is I'm going to place a 0 here. Anything times 30 will end in a 0. I also like to cross off my regrouping so I don't accidentally use them again. 3 times 4 is 12, regroup the 1. 3 times 8 is 24, plus 1 is 25. And then 3 times 7 is 21, plus 2 is 23. Now I can go ahead and I add my partial products. 4 plus 0, 0 plus 2, 7 plus 5 is 12, 4 and 3 plus 1 more is 8, plus 2 is 28,224. And if you recall, 32,000 I expected would be too high. So 28,224, I can be reasonably um, assured that it's probably accurate. Finally, 51 times 48. I'm going to round my 51 down to 50. Round my 48 also to 50, rounding it up. 5 times 5 is 25, plus the two zeros, so it's 2,500 for my estimate. Now I'm ready to do the multiplication. Again, I'm going to ignore the 4 to start with. 8 times 1 is 8. 8 times 5 is 40. Then I uncover the 4 because I am going to do that. And I'm actually going to cover up the 8 because I'm not going to multiply by that anymore. Now since it is the 4, it's really 40. I need to bring in that 0 because it's going to end in a 0. Now I can do the multiplication. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 5 is 20, and then I can add my partial products. This is 8, 4, 4, and 2, 2,448, which is fairly close to 2,500. So I feel pretty reasonably um, assured that is accurate.